Elon Musk plans to send a million people to Mars by 2050, NASA aims for a crewed mission by the 2030s, China and Russia are racing to establish their own Mars bases. The Red Planet colonization race is on, but what is this all about? In this comprehensive exploration, we'll examine the current state of Mars missions, the technological hurdles we face, and the profound implications of becoming a multiplanetary species. Buckle up for a journey that will challenge your perception of human potential and our place in the cosmos. Before we dive in, I want to emphasize that I am very skeptical about becoming a multiplanetary species. But let's try to have an open mind while exploring this fascinating topic. Please let me know in the comments below what your opinion is about the colonization of Mars. But before you do, please watch the whole video to get a good understanding about this crazy idea. Thank you. Why Mars? Mars has captivated human imagination for centuries, its reddish hue a beacon of mystery in our night sky. Ancient civilizations saw it as a god of war, while modern science fiction paints it as humanity's next frontier. But why Mars? What is it about this dusty, cold world that pulls us so strongly? The fascination stems partly from Mars's similarities to Earth. It has a day length close to ours, seasons, polar ice caps, and evidence of ancient water flows. These tantalizing parallels have led scientists to wonder, could Mars once have harbored life? Or more pressingly, could it sustain human life in the future? Yet the reality of Mars is far from hospitable. Its thin atmosphere offers little protection from cosmic radiation. Temperatures plummet to minus 128 degrees Celsius at night. Dust storms can engulf the entire planet for months. The soil is laced with perchlorates, toxic to humans. Mars presents a stark contrast to our lush, life-supporting Earth. But as we face mounting challenges on our home planet, climate change, resource depletion, overpopulation, Mars beckons as a potential solution. Dr. Robert Zubrin, aerospace engineer and Mars Society founder, argues, Mars is a new world. It's a place where we can begin anew and create a new branch of human civilization. Planetary scientists and astrobiologists see Mars as more than just a backup plan. Dr. Natalie Cabral of the SETI Institute explains, Mars holds clues to the origins of life in our solar system. By studying Mars, we learn about Earth's past and future. As the necessity for Mars colonization grows clearer, we face our first major hurdle, life support systems. How do we create a breathable atmosphere? generate energy, produce food and water? These questions drive innovation in closed-loop systems and resource utilization technologies. The challenges of sustaining human life on Mars are immense, but they're spurring advancements that could benefit life on Earth as well. As we work to overcome these obstacles, we're not just reaching for the stars, we're pushing the boundaries of human ingenuity and resilience. Engineering a second Earth building a second Earth on Mars isn't just a grand vision. It's a monumental engineering challenge that pushes the limits of human ingenuity. The basic requirements for human survival on the Red Planet are deceptively simple. Breathable air, drinkable water, edible food, and protection from the harsh Martian environment. But achieving these necessities on a world that seems designed to kill us is far from straightforward. The challenges are formidable. Mars's thin atmosphere offers little protection from cosmic radiation, which can damage DNA and increase cancer risk. The planet's gravity is about 38% of Earth's, potentially leading to bone density loss and muscle atrophy. Temperatures fluctuate wildly, plummeting to minus 128 degrees Celsius at night and rarely rising above freezing even during the day. How do we shield fragile human bodies from these extreme conditions? Scientists and engineers are developing cutting-edge technologies to address these issues. Advanced materials like hydrogenated boron nitride nanotubes show promise for radiation shielding, potentially offering better protection than traditional metal shields at a fraction of the weight. For artificial gravity, Researchers are exploring centrifuge-based habitats that rotate to simulate Earth-like forces, though the optimal rotation speed to avoid motion sickness remains a topic of debate. 
closed-loop life support systems are another critical area of development. These systems aim to recycle air, water and waste with minimal loss, mimicking Earth's natural cycles. The MELISSA project, led by the European Space Agency, is making strides in this direction. It uses microorganisms to break down human waste, producing oxygen and purifying water in the process. This technology could be the key to long-term sustainability on Mars. Food and water production present their own unique challenges. Researchers are experimenting with hydroponics and aeroponics to grow crops in controlled environments using LED lights to mimic sunlight and carefully balanced nutrient solutions to replace soil. Some scientists propose using Martian regolith, treated to remove perchlorates and other toxins, as a growing medium. Water extraction from the Martian polar ice caps or subsurface deposits is another area of intense study. These innovations aren't just theoretical, they're being tested in Mars-like environments on Earth. The NASA-funded HISEAS project in Hawaii and the Mars Society's Mars Desert Research Station in Utah provide valuable insights into the practical challenges of Martian agriculture and habitat design. As we push the boundaries of science and engineering to make Mars habitable, we're not just preparing for interplanetary colonization, we're developing technologies that could revolutionize life on Earth, from more efficient resource recycling to advanced food production methods for harsh environments. The road to Mars is paved with innovations that may well secure humanity's future, both on our home planet and beyond. The Human Element Adapting Body and Mind While technology can shield us from Mars' harsh environment, our own bodies may prove to be the greatest obstacle to colonization. What happens when you transplant a species evolved for Earth onto an alien world? The answers might surprise you, and they're forcing scientists to reconsider what it means to be human. Long-term space travel already poses significant challenges to the human body. Astronauts on the International Space Station experience bone density loss, muscle atrophy, and vision changes due to microgravity. However, living on Mars introduces additional physiological hurdles. The reduced gravity, about 38% of Earth's, could lead to further bone and muscle deterioration. Exposure to high levels of radiation on the Martian surface increases the risk of cancer and cognitive decline. To address these challenges, researchers are exploring both genetic and technological adaptations. Some scientists propose using gene editing techniques to enhance radiation resistance or improve the body's ability to maintain muscle mass in low gravity. Others are developing advanced spacesuits and habitats that provide constant low-level artificial gravity and superior radiation shielding. The psychological impact of Mars colonization is equally daunting. Prolonged isolation, confinement and the extreme environment can lead to depression, anxiety and cognitive impairment. The 2010-2011 Mars 500 experiment, which simulated a 520-day Mars mission, revealed significant sleep disturbances and mood changes among participants. The vast distance from Earth, with communication delays of up to 20 minutes, adds another layer of psychological stress. Innovative approaches to maintaining mental health on Mars are emerging. Virtual reality systems could provide immersive experiences of Earth environments, helping colonists feel connected to their home planet. AI-powered therapy bots, already in development, could offer continuous psychological support. Some researchers suggest that mindfulness practices and meditation, which have proven benefits in extreme environments on Earth, could be crucial for Martian settlers. As we contemplate these challenges, it's clear that adapting to life on Mars will fundamentally change what it means to be human. Our bodies and minds will evolve, shaped by the Red Planet's alien environment. This transformation raises profound questions about identity, evolution, and the future of our species. As we prepare for the first crewed missions to Mars, we must consider not only the technological hurdles, but also the human capacity for adaptation and resilience in the face of unprecedented challenges. The Road to 2030 Milestones and Projections As we chart our course to the Red Planet, the next few years 
promise a revolution in spaceflight capabilities, international cooperation, and our very conception of what's possible. Yet amidst the optimism, a sobering question remains. Are we truly ready to meet our self-imposed 2030 deadline? The race to Mars is heating up, with major players setting ambitious timelines. NASA's Artemis program aims to use the Moon as a stepping stone, with a crewed Mars mission planned for the late 2030s. SpaceX, under Elon Musk's leadership, has an even more aggressive timeline, targeting the first human landing on Mars by 2029. China and Russia have also announced plans for Martian bases, though their timelines extend beyond 2030. However, these ambitious goals face significant hurdles. Technical challenges abound, from developing reliable long-duration life support systems to creating radiation shielding that can withstand years of exposure. The financial cost is staggering, with estimates ranging from hundreds of billions to trillions of dollars for a sustained Mars program. Political will and public support fluctuate, adding another layer of uncertainty to these long-term projects. The economic implications of Mars colonization are complex and far-reaching. While the initial costs are enormous, proponents argue that the technological spin-offs and resource potential of Mars could yield tremendous economic benefits. Critics counter that these resources, such as rare Earth elements, could be more efficiently extracted from asteroids or the Moon. Experts offer varied predictions on the feasibility of the 2030 timeline. Dr. Robert Zubrin, president of the Mars Society, remains optimistic, stating, with the right focus and funding, we could have humans on Mars by 2030. However, NASA's former chief historian, Roger Launius, cautions, the technical challenges are immense, and the political will is uncertain. A 2040 timeline might be more realistic. As we approach the 2030s, the most likely scenario involves a series of incremental steps rather than a full-fledged colony. We may see the first crewed flyby missions, followed by short-term surface expeditions. Establishing a permanent human presence on Mars by 2030 remains a lofty goal, but each mission will bring us closer to that reality. This journey to Mars isn't just about conquering a new frontier, it's about reshaping our identity as a species. As we stand on the brink of becoming a multi-planetary civilization, we must grapple with profound questions about our place in the universe and our responsibilities as we expand beyond Earth. As we conclude our journey through the challenges and possibilities of Mars colonization, we're left with a profound sense of both excitement and responsibility. The obstacles we face, from radiation shielding to sustainable food production, are immense, yet they're driving innovation that could benefit life on Earth as well. Our efforts to adapt to the Martian environment may fundamentally reshape what it means to be human, both physically and psychologically. Becoming a multi-planetary species isn't just about survival or scientific achievement. It's a transformative step in our evolution, one that will alter our perspective on Earth and our place in the cosmos. As we look to the stars, we're also compelled to reflect on our stewardship of our home planet. The journey to Mars is more than a scientific endeavor, it's a call to action for all of humanity. Whether through supporting space research, developing sustainable technologies, or simply cultivating a sense of wonder about the universe, each of us has a role to play in this grand adventure. As we stand on the brink of this new frontier, we're not just reaching for Mars, we're reaching for a new understanding of ourselves and our potential as a species.